Yo, what up, brothers? It's the director, Chargers fans. Big video that I've been meaning to do for the past couple of weeks. We are going to be going over Justin Herbert's 2021 stat projection. How do you possibly do this? Justin Herbert came into the league last year, rookie, put up the best rookie campaign we've seen by a quarterback in NFL history, as well as winning offensive rookie of the year. How could we possibly predict how he's going to do in 2021? Well, if you guys remember, uh, I did this same video last season, but with all the question marks revolving around Justin Herbert, and honestly, I got pretty close, man. I think I was only off by like 100 or so yards and maybe a touchdown or two. That's pretty insane. So can we catch lightning in a bottle once again with this video today and catching Justin Herbert's stat projection? Honestly, guys, it should be pretty impressive. It's really easy, actually. Take a look at his 2020 stats last season. Around 4,300 yards, 31 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. To give you guys kind of a base idea of where we're going with this, I'm going to turn off my camera here real quick. Uh, if we take his average, which is 2008, or I'm sorry, 289 yards and two touchdowns per game, and we just do some simple math, times that by 17, because there are 17 games in this season, we'll get 4,913 yards, 35 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. That, that 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 already would make me super happy because Chargers fans need to remember that Justin Herbert last season only played 15 games. Yes, again, as a reminder, this season, there's going to be 17 games for the Chargers. That's two more than Justin Herbert played last season. That is really ridiculous. So it should be a good one, guys. Uh, before we do get started, hit us up with a like and sub if you do enjoy this content. The small amount of time you guys take to hit the like, sub, and bell notification helps me out a lot. Let's get into it, boys. Lights, camera, action. The Justin Herbert 2021 stat prediction video. I've honestly been super excited to put this one out and we're going to make it pretty visually appealing. But before we go over the games individually, we need to talk about the Chargers and why Justin Herbert should have a better season statistically, not just because he's playing two extra games, but because of what the Chargers have built around him. You know, honestly, yeah, we could do have, you know, Austin Eckler. We do have pretty solid wide receivers and Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Tyron. Johnson and then also adding tight and Jared Cook to the mix doesn't hurt either but it's really this offensive line that we've built around Justin Herbert this season rookie Rashawn Slater best center in the league Corey Lindsley Brian Bulaga who should have a bounce back season this year and then Matt Filer and Ode Abushi should definitely be contributors as well guys this could spell to one of the most ridiculous follow-up seasons for any quarterback ever we started hearing the uh, Patrick Mahomes comparisons last season after Justin Herbert won rookie of the year i don't know if he's done man he's been put in a really really good position to succeed with the los angeles chargers and that offensive line so all things considered i think you got to think about all these things all these factors when trying to project how Justin Herbert's going to perform this year. He had one of the worst offensive lines in football last season. He's going to have one of the better offensive lines this season. And honestly, the extra games, the better O-line, the better offense, the new coaching, all of that should spell maybe more inflated stats for Justin Herbert this year. So we're going to start here with the Washington football team like we showed before. Uh, I'm going to make this really simple. On the left side, you'll see the matchups, the top three defensive players that maybe I'm the most worried about that Justin Herbert needs to pay attention to. To Chase Young, Monte Sweat, William Jackson. If you guys watched my episode one of Sim Sundays yesterday, you'll know that that defensive front is absolutely disgusting. Playoff caliber even. So I think Justin Herbert might have his hands full. Even this offensive line, there's going to be a true test of this new offensive line facing off against one of the best defensive lines in the league week one. So I'm going to show you guys the projection here at the bottom after every week. 289 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception with 16 rushing yards for Justin Herbert in week one. I think that's still pretty respectable. I think that's actually a pretty good game considering the defensive line he'll be going up against. And uh, honestly, this could go either way. I do see the Chargers edging out the Washington football team in this one. In week two, the Chargers will be facing 
the Dallas Cowboys on the left, Jalen Smith, the Marcus Lawrence we have to pay attention to, and Keanu Neal, who's a new, a new acquisition as well. I do think that this Dallas Cowboys secondary, though, is not that great. I still think Justin Herbert could slice and dice. Got to watch out for those Dallas linebackers, though. The Dallas linebacking core is absolutely ridiculous and stacked to the brim. I still think Justin Herbert in this contest puts up close to 300 yards and three touchdowns, adding an extra 23 yards on the ground but again it really depends on how this offensive line holds up against those linebackers i also have to watch out for jalen smith in coverage if you are justin herbert next up week three and this is where things kind of start heating up the chargers facing their toughest matchup of the year so far in week three division opponent kansas city on the left we all know the, uh, the players that really stood out for Kansas City's defense last season, Tyron Matthew, Honey Badger, uh, Legereus Sneed, who really snuck up on the league, and then Chris Jones. They do also have other playmakers like Frank Clark. This is a pretty solid defense, and the Chargers do need to face them twice. However, at Kansas City, this is going to be a test for Justin Herbert. Definitely one of those games that uh, at Arrowhead is going to be a very difficult environment to thrive in. I don't know if the Chargers do win this one, but I do think the Chargers are going to be playing it very very, very aggressive, giving Justin Herbert 322 yards, three touchdowns, and an interception in week three, adding 32 yards on the ground. I think the Chargers are going to be very motivated to try and take down the former Super Bowl champions, and this is going to be a very tough contest. The first few weeks of the uh, 2021 season, harsh, harsh environment for the LA Chargers. But still, solid stats. I think uh, Justin Herbert, again, does put up a really good fight, even if that doesn't turn out as a dub. Next up in week four versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Oh, dudes, just seeing the, the jersey swap on the top left for Casey Hayward just boils my blood a little bit. Casey Hayward, former Charger, moving to division rival Raiders. I uh, also have to watch out for Yannick Ngakwe, a new acquisition, Trevon Morig from the NFL draft. I think the Chargers in this one, though, I think Justin Herbert did very well against them last year. The duck bowl between him and Marcus Mariota was an epic game for sure and I do think Justin Herbert in both those games last year put up over 300 yards versus the Raiders I think he does it again 308 yards in week four with two touchdowns and nine rushing yards all right, boys, this is where things are, are going to get a little heavy, all right? Our next opponent, a, a, a team that's solely and surely been uh, climbing the ranks uh, the last couple of seasons, building a very solid football team in the Cleveland Browns. New acquisition to Davian Clowney, matched up with Miles Garrett. Sounds like one of the nastiest pairs in the NFL. Also got to watch out for other playmakers like Denzel Ward and Jeremiah Wusukuramo, who I thought was a steal in the draft. This is probably going to be the toughest matchup as far as defenses Justin Herbert's going to face in 2021. My projection for this, probably one of his lesser performances of the year. 218 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. We'll go ahead and tack on 29 yards and a touchdown. Down. I think when he's going to be faced with that kind of pressure, Justin Herbert's going to be more motivated to move outside the pocket, try and find yards with his legs. And in this instance, I do think he luckily tacks on a touchdown, maybe even late in the game, but still not a bad game statistically, but we're talking Justin Herbert, you know, reaching for that MVP title. Next up, Baltimore Ravens. Wow, guys, this schedule, the first six weeks or so, absolutely brutal. Baltimore Ravens, solid defense. Jimmy Smith, Marcus Peters, solid cornerbacks Patrick Queen who again I think is a standout uh, year two linebacker for Baltimore um, again probably a stiff contest but I do see him putting up 256 yards and two touchdowns one interception however still again a solid game but you're hoping to see stuff maybe a little bit better from a follow-up year with Justin Herbert the good news is at this point in the bye week he has some solid stats regardless of the tough opponents 1,690 yards 13 touchdowns four interceptions with another 115 yards and a touchdown on the ground honestly not bad six weeks into the season this is week seven our bye week and after this the schedule does soften a little bit after our bye week or the uh, the opponent we play after our bye week in the, the new england patriots <laughs> last season new england patriots as a whole maybe not the best team in the nfl but when the chargers played them oh my lord it was an absolute massacre out there the chargers absolutely embarrassed 
I think this time around, though, the Patriots are a bit of a better team. They loaded up on free agents, but I think the Chargers are going to be better prepared, especially talking behind uh, head coach uh, uh, Brandon Staley. I don't think he's going to let that happen again. I think this is going to be a big game, one of the bigger games of the year for the Chargers, and they're going to have to put up some serious numbers in order to compete with the New England Patriots. I think the Chargers and Justin Herbert put up 307 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions, uh, and rushes for an additional 17 yards again very solid stats the two interceptions maybe worry you a little bit but this is new england you're talking about and i think they definitely uh, need to be able to be aggressive to try and outscore the patriots this time around next up week nine versus the philadelphia eagles this is a team that i think could go either way they could they could definitely be contenders or they could definitely be one of the worst teams in the nfl if i'm if i'm being brutally honest in this instance though we're focusing in on their defense anthony harris fletcher cox darius slay solid defensive talent but i think their secondary which has been a huge problem for very many years for philadelphia still isn't one of the better in the league not even close anthony harris does help darius slay does help but outside of that i think there's a lot of holes on this roster on this defense that you can attack if you're justin herbert i still think he puts up a very solid day 289 yards two touchdowns with six rushing yards and a score on the ground i think it's going to be a fun matchup to watch between him and jalen hurts you know hurts is probably gonna be running a lot and Justin Herbert, I think, is going to be the one that scores the touchdown on the ground. Next up, guys, another tough opponent here. Week 10, Minnesota Vikings. Um, they did add Patrick Peterson on the left there. Daniel Hunter and Harrison Smith. Very solid, you know, uh, talent on the defensive side for Minnesota. But again... I think the Chargers have a chance at winning this game. Justin Herbert, again, I think puts up pretty solid stats. These tougher defenses, tougher opponents, I see Justin Herbert as between two and 300 yards as a safe you know, area, 250 yards-ish, right? I think he has the makings to go even further than that in any given matchup versus any defense, even the Cleveland Browns. But uh, I think it's pretty safe to say around 260 yards, a touchdown, and 23 uh, yards on the ground is pretty safe for this matchup with the Minnesota Vikings. Next up, week 11 versus the the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh man, this schedule. Yeah, not the easiest that we've had in a long time. This is going to be one of the better defenses in the league this season, in my opinion. However, again, the Chargers at this point of the season, week 11, they've had some time to maybe gather some tape on the 2021 Pittsburgh Steelers. Maybe they have a shot with Brandon Staley to work around that honestly stellar defense of Mika Fitzpatrick, TJ Watt, Stefan Tuitt, and et cetera, et cetera, to maybe make something happen. In this game, I've got Justin Herbert going for 241 yards two touchdowns and an interception again running away from tj watt what running away from maybe some pressure at the secondary mika fitzpatrick putting up some decent yards on the ground 39 yards and a score i think the chargers do have a chance at winning this one and justin herbert definitely gives them the best opportunity there with solid statage next up the denver broncos are playing them at denver week 12 Denver Broncos defense, man. This is the first time we're playing this season, right? Yeah, week 12. Bradley Chubb, Vaughn Miller should be coming back. Justin Simmons, Kyle Fuller. This is a pretty stacked defense, and this is something Chargers fans have been pretty aware of for, you know, a couple of years now. They've had a pretty solid defense for a while. And Justin Herbert, however, did show that he can compete against them last season, even with that stacked roster, even though they didn't have uh, Vaughn Miller last season. Still, I think it's going to be a good game at Mile High Stadium. 291 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, however, with 21 yards on the ground really got to watch out for the pressure here the combination of pressure from chubb and uh, vaughn miller with the uh, really talented dbs out there and justin simmons and kyle fuller i think could spell out a tough day as far as interceptions and turnovers go but still as far as strategy is concerned not a bad game just hoping not to get that many picks in one game uh next up the cincinnati Bengals. this is going to be one of my favorite games of the year i think the narratives behind it are really cool you know justin herbert joe burrow two guys competing for offense Offensive rookie of the year last season two high powered uh, uh offenses i think very talented offenses this could end up being a shootout you take a look at the top three players i'm maybe most concerned about on their defense sam hubbard joseph asai who i'm high on but maybe not this season and jesse bates the third pretty good players but honestly this defense has so many holes in it i think the chargers defense is certainly better 
But I'm also thinking that this could be a shootout between the Chargers and the Bengals. So I think this will be one of the higher scoring games of the year for the Chargers. 367 yards, four touchdowns, and an interception for Justin Herbert with 31 yards on the ground as well. Four touchdowns in one game. I think Justin Herbert did it once last season. I think he's raring up to do it again. And this could be a really, really fun week. Week 13, guys, at Cincinnati. Put it in your calendars. I think that's going to be a really fun day to tune in and watch the Bolts. Uh, week 14 versus the New York Giants. Now, I took a look at this defense. And I took a look at how many points they allowed last season. I think they got better in a lot of areas. And honestly, I think they're around middle of the pack as far as yards uh, uh, given up through the air per game. Uh, to kind of account for that, I did still see Justin Herbert putting up almost 300 yards, two touchdowns, because I do think the weaknesses of their uh, defense do complement very well the strengths of the Chargers offense, and I think Justin Herbert still puts up a really, really good game. I honestly see this game as being a easier one in the Chargers schedule, and as far as their defense, Justin Herbert shouldn't have too many problems carving that up. 296 yards, two touchdowns, no yards on the ground. Next up, week 15, we're getting near the end. We're going up against the Kansas City Chiefs once again. Again, this defense, pretty stacked. Uh, it's going to be one of the last games of the season for the Chargers. And I do think, again, the Chargers this time hosting at home are going to have a pretty good shot at maybe grabbing a win, but it's really going to depend on the offense. I think the defense at this point of the season should be pretty locked in, hopefully not having too many injuries. The offense is really going to have to step up and make something happen. In this instance, I do have Justin Herbert and the offense maybe struggling a little bit. Uh, 287 yards, two touchdowns, interception. Again, solid game, but I don't know if that's going to be enough to take down the camp. Kansas City Chiefs still solid game analytically for Justin Herbert next up guys I I, I want to point this one out there's a couple of games a year right I think Jacksonville a couple of years ago uh, you're gonna find that one uh, game where you're thinking this is going to be it. This is going to be the crazy game for Justin Herbert. This is going to be the crazy game for the Chargers offense. And I think this next opponent in week 16 is going to be that game. The Chargers versus the Houston Texans. This team has imploded so hard. A lot of this also does kind of revolve around the status of Deshaun Watson. If he stays on the team, maybe we see more of a shootout. If he doesn't, this could honestly be a grab the lead and hold on to it or hold on to it with your run game kind of situation. In this instance, I think the Chargers have a pretty good edge. Justin Herbert has a pretty good edge at putting up some monstrous uh, stats. Desmond King, Whitney Merciless, Justin Reed on the left side there. After getting rid of J.J. Watt, a lot of their playmakers on defense are just gone. This is one of the worst defenses in 2020. I don't know if they're going to be able to stop much in 2021 either. The projection here. Justin Herbert, first time in his career, puts up over 400 yards, three touchdowns with 11 yards on the ground and a touchdown on the ground as well. This could be the Justin Herbert week of 2021. I think this is the one where he really turns some heads and puts up some monster yards. I think Justin Herbert is definitely capable of at least one 400-yard game this season. I think he's going to do it in week 16. I think that's his best shot. Next up, week 17, only two more games here, both division rivals. Uh, this one versus the uh, uh, Denver Broncos. Again, very solid defense. This time we're playing him at SoFi Stadium. For whatever reason, we do have an issue playing the Broncos at SoFi, if you've looked at our past. But still, again, another solid, okay game for Justin Herbert. 284 yards and a touchdown. Um, I think this one we were going to maybe try to attack him on the ground a little bit more. But still, not a bad week for Justin Herbert. You're just hoping to see more touchdowns uh, in that column him there and then lastly week 18 maybe not the best game versus Denver wants to follow up with a really nice game versus the Vegas Raiders which again if you guys remember I said both games last season Justin Herbert put up over 300 yards and I think he's going to want to give Casey Hayward something to remember him by and closing out this season Justin Herbert final game of the season 325 yards three touchdowns and interception not by Casey Hayward and 14 yards on the ground guys that's going to do it uh, let's take a look at the uh, the totals here for Justin Herbert in the 2021 season this is not going to be impossible to reach these numbers I feel like just like last season are within reach for the Chargers again you got to remember the situation that Justin Herbert's being put in the kind of offensive line that we've uh, built around him the final tally here absolutely possible with two extra games for Justin Herbert this season 5,054 yards 36 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, adding 277 yards, four touchdowns, and three fumbles on the ground. How insane would that be, dudes? 
Again, if we take a look at the base stats for the 2021 season, if we're just doing basic math with his averages last season, we're talking around 4,913 yards, okay, and 35 touchdowns with 11 picks. You got to put into consideration what the Chargers have done to help Justin Herbert's situation in 2021. And I put a lot of that into account as far as how much time he'll have in the pocket, as far as you know how efficient the run game might even be. Justin Herbert going from one of the worst offensive lines in football to one of the best. It's, I think, going to give him a chance at breaking 5,000 yards in the first season the NFL is going to be hosting 18 weeks for 17 games. I think this is absolutely possible. So, guys, this is the fun part in the comment section below. This is your chance to tell me, Director, you're crazy. He's not going to pass 5,000 yards. Or, Director, maybe you're a little lowballing him. Maybe he's going for 5,200 yards. Let me know in the comment section below what you think Justin Herbert's going to put up for the 2021 campaign. I'm very, very bullish on this offense. I'm very bullish on Justin Herbert specifically. He should be one of the biggest beneficiaries of this new offensive line. And I think he's going to put up some more monster monster numbers other people i've been seeing around the web have been projecting them around 4600 yards 4800 yards i think i've probably the highest i've seen on the web so far and i'm pretty confident that this is a realistic number for justin herbert going into the 2021 season well guys thank you so much for joining me this has been the director if you've uh, liked this content hit us up with a like and sub on your way out we'll see you next time and as always bolt up and stay frosty